Hello friends, my name is Ramasu. Today we shall discuss about a topic the difference between credit card and debit card. Friend, today's topic uh, is very interesting and uh, very important uh, with respect to payment industry or fintech in industry. So today we shall see this topic in de detail. So let's uh, start. First of all, I would request to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell option as well so that many videos can reach to you. So let's uh, start. Um, friend, uh, whenever we uh, go at bank side or we have to do shopping, so normally we have two types of cards generally. Uh, one is credit card and f uh, second one is the debit card. Now, uh, what is the main difference between credit card and debit card? First of all, we will uh, discuss about credit card. Credit card is basically a card issued by a financial institution, that is a bank actually and it enables the card holder to borrow the uh, funds from that institution or bank card holder agree to pay the money back with interest according to the institution's terms and conditions basically friend uh, if you just see the term credit card so credit in terms of basically uh, whenever we talk about bank or institution uh, basically we are referring to a uh, basically we are referring to a loan actually or uh, funds actually so uh, whenever we talk about credit card basically we are referring to a card through which as a customer you can borrow money from uh, the bank okay so whenever you are uh, using a card actually you have some limits and uh, you are borrowing the money from the bank and you have to pay back that money after normally 30 days or 40 days normally uh, to bank and there is a condition that if you don't pay back the, the amount or mon funds uh, money back to the uh, bank so you have to pay the interest on it as well so normally uh, by using the credit card you are borrowing the money from the bank and you are returning back that money within 30 days or 40 days and if you don't pay back the amount within uh, the prescribed time so you have to uh, pay over the interest to bank as well okay so that is the main concept of credit card now uh, credit card has uh, other advantages as well that credit card uses uh, users can uh, reap cash discounts travel points and many other poor perks uh, unable to develop card holders by using reward cards rewards can be uh, applied on a, a flat rate etc so basically uh, friend uh, there are some advantages as well whenever you are using the credit card like uh, the biggest advantage generally is the reward point a reward point concept is that uh, for example uh, let's uh, let me give you an example for example if you do the shopping of uh, for example 50000 uh, for example so you get a point of uh, 50 points uh, reward points uh, which you can redeem anywhere like for example you can redeem those points in a shopping uh, also you can uh, use the credit card to uh, shop uh, to do the shopping on installment for example you want to purchase uh, a laptop online or uh, from any shopping stores uh, by using uh, on installments for example you uh, the laptop price is for example uh, let's suppose thousand uh, dollar for example and you will pay it back uh, within uh, five months by using, using the credit card so there are so many uh, there are other advantages uh, as well of using the credit card like reward points uh, installments uh, other uh, other advantages are as well are there like you can use it on travel and um, uh, other discounts you can get it by using the credit card as well now the uh, another uh, type of card is debit card debit card is basically is a potential uh, payment card that makes payment by deducting money directly from a consumer uh, account or bank account rather than on loan from a bank debit card offer the convenience uh, of credit card and many of the same consumer protections when issued by major payment pro processors such as visa or mastercard debit card like for example friend the main concept of debit card is that whenever you do the uh, shopping through the debit card or do any transaction basically amount is detecting from your bank account okay your own account so uh, here in the debit card you are not borrowing any uh, money from the uh, from the bank you don't need to return back uh, the amount because you are not borrowing any loan from a bank okay you are paying from your own account so debit card has 
uh, logically a very good card because there is no concept of interest if you use the debit card uh, you are not borrowing any money you don't need to worry that uh, you have to return back and you don't need to worry about interest whenever you do, do the shopping the amount is deducted from your account or from your bank account actually directly so that is the main concept of debit card so what is the main difference between credit card and debit card credit card has a concept of a loan you are borrowing the money from the bank and you have to return back uh, if you don't return back you have to pay the interest there is a concept of uh, that is a concept of credit card uh, on the other side debit card has a concept that you are the uh, whenever you are doing the shopping the amount is deducting from your own account and in the debit card there is no concept of borrowing money there is no concept of a loan uh, and there is no concept of interest actually in the debit card so friend uh, thank you thanks a lot for watching the video i hope uh, you like this video if like please share it with your friends and colleagues and thanks a lot for watching the video thank you